Hey everybody, welcome to the card of the day. Oh, what a day I have. You know, this year, well, most years, I always feel like at the end of the year, two things happen. Um, you get all your bad luck out of the year, out of the way for January. <laughs> so that you get a clean slate, but everything really backs up, almost like the universe has a calendar too. Well, it does, but I don't, I would never really think it's our calendar. So, um, busy, busy, busy. I gotta go see the tax man this morning and uh, stuff like that. So today's card of the day is the Page of Cups, which pages and um, court cards can get to be very confusing. Pages are sort of the beginning of something. Or um, they can be, this one can be young, a young male or a young female or a very feminine male um, that is uh, pages usually in the 13s, 13, 14, 12, 11, that kind of age. And he has that cup there. Well, now we're talking cups, so we're talking emotions. And this is just a little, it's not bad. It's really mostly good. This is usually a very fun person, kind of a dramatic person, but a fun dramatic person. And he's looking in that cup and the fish is a cup. There's quite a few meanings and symbols to fish. I just got a book on symbols, so we'll be talking about symbols next year. Um, the the fish can be uh, creativity. He can also be uh, what we call the Jesus fish um, or uh, like the fish, um, you know, about faith. But we look in my tarot deck and he's in the cup and he's looking at it. This can also apply to drinking. Someone is in their cups. I don't know if you've ever heard that term, in your cups. That's what that means when someone is drunk and floop. The fish comes out in our after deck, and the guy's kind of like, well, wait, wait, what, how did that slip out of my hands? So um, I went with um, a real simple theme today. And by the way, last week, someone said, can you do something on depression? And it was a really great suggestion. So if anyone has a suggestion, please feel free to step forward and give it because it gave me some real direction. And uh, between now and New Year's, I think direction is going to be hard because we're all, all over the place. So this one is pretty simple. Ebb and flow means non-attachment. Okay, this guy, he look at the look on his face. He has it all. He's got the fish. He's got the cup. Then over here, he's like, what? What happened? Things, I'm in a year nine, so this especially applies to me. Things are being taken away that, that, um, now I'm in the year nine, which is kind of the big flush. Things go away that are not needed. So, um, that's what's happening here. Um, non-attachment. Do not be attached to things. Let the universe bring and give you what you need. When we are attached, I've been listening to so many things. I heard the greatest um, episode of a radio show last night of a guy that was so, he was suicidal. He was to depression and he kept praying that God would give him back everything he lost. And then he finally turned his prayer around and asked God what he needed. And everything turned around from that point. And I think that's a great point. We think we need this or that or people come for readings and they're so attached to I gotta have this or am I gonna have money or am I gonna have blah 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 and it's not what always what you think you need ebb and flow means non-attachment okay everybody one more time ebb and flow means non-attachment don't be attached to things let the universe bring you the things you really need all right have a great day see you tomorrow